Hi, I'm Chioke Harris. I'm a first year fellow in the Building Technologies Office at the Department of Energy. I work in the same office as Brent Nelson, but I'm not a lifeguard, so it's been good having him around. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get the memo that we were supposed to include a word cloud as part of our slides, so um, hopefully you'll be able to follow along even without the word cloud in place. A few years ago, BTO created a technology evaluation tool to help guide decisions about how to invest our limited R&D funds. We needed to be able to compare diverse technologies like HVAC systems and windows using common metrics. Think about how difficult it would be to compare a barbecue grill, a bicycle, and a television, and you start to get a sense of the problem. This is a tiny snapshot of the spreadsheet that was created to meet our office's needs. Unfortunately, it's slow to run and difficult to maintain. There isn't any real documentation, so we can't share it with anyone because they'll never be able to figure out how to get it working. Uh, I'm developing a replacement for this tool, and along the way, I've learned a few things that i like to share with you guys. A program or project's truck factor is the number of people who could be hit by a truck before the program can't be maintained anymore. <laughs> From what I've seen, having a low truck factor is pretty common and exposes organizations to a lot of risk. Our giant spreadsheet has a truck factor of one, but by documenting and sharing our technical approach, we're bumping up our truck factor of three with our new project. Once I began working on the project, I started sharing information about it with some of my colleagues. Through those conversations, both formal and informal, I've been con connected with a surprising number of potential partners within DOE, at other federal agencies, and at universities, utilities, and nonprofits. Uh, that's significantly increased the value proposition of our project, and we've really been able to secure ongoing investment through that pathway. We're not really to a point that I would consider a minimum viable product, but we've started sharing our work in progress within our office and with potential external users. As a result, we've gotten a lot of useful feedback and feature requests that we're incorporating into the work. These demonstrations have also cemented buy-in to the development path we're using and the de decisions that we've taken so far. One of the biggest problems with the spreadsheet tool I showed earlier is that adding features and updating content is hard, slow work, and often requires clumsy workarounds because it's Excel. With our new project, we're building out capabilities one component at a time, which allows us to test and validate features as we incorporate them and helps ensure that we can continue to grow as the needs of our office changes. Since that was pretty quick, here's a recap of the four lessons learned. Increase your truck factor to minimize your project's long-term risk. Tell other people what you do and you can gain valuable insights about the potential applications of your project. Show off your minimum viable products to get buy-in and feedback. And start small, but plan so that you can expand and grow as opportunities arise. This project wouldn't be where it is today without the support of a lot of people, but I want to recognize just two. Jared Langevin is an ORISE fellow in our office and has been working hand in glove with me throughout this project. Bosco So is a Presidential Innovation Fellow in Sunshot, uh, and he was instrumental in some of our most critical early planning decisions in getting this project started. As I mentioned, the project still isn't ready for prime time, but we've made a lot of progress. We have a website that includes some interactive features. The market calculator shown here is the most complete so far. You can find it at the second URL on the screen. Anyone's welcome to check out our project repository on GitHub. At the first URL shown, please fork us, raise issues, and submit pull requests. Thanks so much.